Hello and welcome to the presentation of High Voltage Motor Control. My name is Andreas Herder. In this presentation we will see the five chapters. System Block Overview to explain where the components are located in the circuitry. Then we will see an example of a three-phase inverter using slim intelligent power modules, followed by a three-phase inverter example using ASPEC modules followed by a three-phase inverter example using discrete components. And at the end, we'll have a brief talk about the other components. System block overview. On the left side of this system block overview, we see the AC mains input. It can be of single phase or three phase. The AC mains voltage needs to be rectified into DC voltage using a diode bridge. In case of inrush current limitation, SCR or triac could be found. In case of power factor correction, a PFC controller with its MOSFET and high voltage diode could be found. In the second section is the power supply to find. High voltage auxiliary power supply, linear regulator. And in the center we have the control and sensing. In the control unit we have very often a microcontroller such as the STM32. A signal conditioning is required to interface the microcontroller with the environment. On the right side, we have the output stage, with gate drivers, inverter, brake. In this typical schematic of a three-phase inverter, we see the blocks from the slide before now put into circuitry. For instance, we see on the left side a single-phase mains input using four diodes. In the center in blue, we have the drivers. On the right side in green, we have the output stage using IGBTs. In ST we have three approaches to form this output stage. Highest integration level with discretes. Highest power level with ASPEC IGBT modules. And the compromise between both is the intelligent power module SLIM. Let's start over with them. Our intelligent power modules SLIM contain gate drivers and three-phase inverter. The circuitry shows very good how many components we have just replaced by one package. Depending on application and current rating, we can choose between Slim Nano, which goes up to 8 amperes, or the bigger package Slim, starting from 8 amperes, going up to 35 amperes. Let's start over with the Slim Nano. On the left side, we see a block diagram of the content of our Slim Nano. It consists of three half bridges driven by three gate drivers and the NTC option is shown as well. You can choose between different options such as op-amp, comparator, NTC. All modules have open emitter connection for three shunt current sensing and they accommodate the bootstrap diodes. At the left side, we see a table referencing the different Slim Nano packages with its power rating to an end application. For instance, Slim Nano SMD is capable of 10 to 50 watts. This is the typical power range for roller shutters or small pumps. On the right side, we see three tables for the three package types of Slim Nano. On the top, Slim Nano SMD is capable of up to 3 amperes. Depending on the soldering type you need, instead of an SMD package, a through-hole package can be chosen. The table in the middle shows Slim Nano through-hole, which has the same current rating and is pin-to-pin -pin compatible with the above SMD version. At the bottom is the table for Slim Nano second series through-hole. As this is a bigger package, it increases the current rating up to 8 amperes. Considering the package size and integration level, the Slim Nano has low losses, which makes it perfect for compact end products. Let's now jump to the Slim Second Series. Here we see an overview about the Slim Second Series. The block diagram on the left side shows that we have two triple gate drivers driving the power stage. We have again the open emitter connection, which allows us three shunt current sensing. We have again protection features available like NTC or temperature sensor and a shutdown input. The Slim Second Series 
has a breakdown voltage of up to 1.5 kV. And there are two different SDIP packages available, full molded or direct bond copper, DBC, compatible with each other. Slim second series can operate up to 20 kHz. On the left side, you see a table referencing the two different package types of Slim second series with its power rating to an end product. The full molded version is capable of up to 800 watts, mainly used in refrigerators or power tools. The DBC version can reach up to 3 kilowatts, used in air conditionings or small industrial inverters. With these evaluation boards, you can quickly start evaluation of your application. No need to think of circuitry prior start evaluation. The evaluation boards are made compatible with ST Micro's motor control library for easy firmware development. Various boards are available, exploiting different slim IPM products, ranging from 300W up to 3kW. Single shunt or triple shunt for current sensing are selectable. We offer for Slim Nano the same approach of evaluation boards. They allow easy evaluation of your application without designing the circuitry first. Various boards are available, exploiting different Slim Nano IPM products, ranging from 20 watts up to 600 watt. Single shunt or triple shunt for motor current sensing are selectable. SD Power Studio is our new power simulation tool. It allows to execute electrothermal simulations of our intelligent power modules Slim and of our new power modules ASPAC. It is capable of simulating up to 10 load steps in a hours long mission profile. A PDF report is created at the end with all results. You can download it from www.st.com. Let's now jump to the new family of ST power modules, the ASPIC IGBT modules. In this application block diagram, we see that the uh, ASPEC module can contain on the left side the diode bridge, on the right side the three phase inverter, and the brake IGBT on the bottom right side. This package is as big as to host six diodes for the converter, six IGBTs for the inverter, and one IGBT plus diode for the brake. The used IGBTs and diodes are made by ST Micro and optimized for motor control applications. You can choose between two pin connector types, press fit or solder pin. The module features a breakdown voltage of 650 volt or 1200 volt. And it hosts all power switches in one package plus the NTC. Several current ratings and configurations are available. Due to its fixed arrangement of its interior, we achieve optimized stray inductance and high reliability and robustness. Simple mounting, which optimizes system assembly cost and effort. On the left side, we see the table with the different configurations for the ASPEC standard products. On the left top, 6-pack, which is used in inverters. On the left bottom, the CAV configuration, which consists of converter, inverter, and brake IGBT. All modules feature the NTC by default. On the right side, we see the product table of both ASPEC model types. Some highlights are ASPEC 1, it's rated up to 650 volt, 50 amperes in 6-pack, and in 1200 volt, 15 ampere in CAB configuration. The bigger ASPEC 2 is rated up to 1200 volt, 75 amperes in 6-pack, and in 50 amperes, 650 volt CAB configuration. All modules can be selected either in press fit or solder pin connection. This evaluation board is a complete drive with converter, inverter, DC bus, control and protection section. The control firmware can be developed using the STM32 ecosystem. This board exploits the ASPEC2 in CAB configuration. 1200 volt, 35 amperes. It hosts the gate driver STGAP 1S and the microcontroller STM 32F303. Let's move to the third approach for the power stage using discrete power switches. 
in the application block diagram, we see that this uh, discrete approach is only covering the three phase inverter. The application schematic shows that we have reached the lowest level of integration as we have to install six individual switches on our board. The discrete MD mesh DM2 MOSFETs are ST's latest fast recovery diode series best for motor control applications. These 600 and 650 volt MOSFETs feature a very low recovery charge and time and show up to 40% lower RDS on compared to the previous generation. High DV by DT ruggedness up to 40 volt per nanosecond allow reliable performance even when exposed to large voltage transients such as noise and harmonics on AC power lines. ST's trench field stop IGBTs feature breakdown voltages up to 650 volt or 1200 volt and cover a wide range of performance requirements. The three IGBT series H, M and S series are perfect for motor control due to its different trade-offs between dynamic and static losses. The M-series IGBTs have been designed using the third generation of ST's trench gate field stop technology. A maximum junction temperature of 175 degrees Celsius make them very robust even in difficult environments. These IGBTs are optimized for lowest switching losses. The S-series features improved conduction losses thanks to low VCEZ. A long 10 microseconds short circuit rating make them very robust against motor stall or short circuit conditions. Optimized freewheeling diode for motor control applications, meaning low diode losses and fast recovery time, keeping the right softness. The M and S series are tailored to improve efficiency of motor control applications in the whole range of switching frequencies up to 20 kHz. Here are some product examples for the 1200 volt S and M series. On the table in the right side, you can see the trade-off between the dynamic and static losses for both IGBT series. The S series is optimized for operation up to 8 kHz, while the M series is up to 20 kHz. Both provide up to 10 microseconds short circuit with stand time. Here we see some quick product overview for the 1200 volt H series. The highlight of the H series is the much higher switching frequency of 20 to 100 kHz, which make them perfect for high dynamic applications with high output frequencies. On top, they feature a short circuit with stand time of up to 5 microseconds. Let's move to power management, auxiliary power supply and linear regulator. Now we are in the bottom left in the blue boxes showing the AC-DC auxiliary power supply and the DC-DC auxiliary power supply. ST offers a wide range of switching regulators optimized for the different requirements. A wide range of 4 to 61 volt and the current range up to 4 amperes give high flexibility. In the online tool eDesign Suite, you can define the criteria for your specific auxiliary power supply such as input voltage, output voltage, current and much more. As a result, the online tool shows you a reference design of your auxiliary power supply with all needed components included. If you have a strong efficiency requirement, use L698X series. It features synchronous rectification and a low accretion current. If you have a high input voltage, use L798X series. It features asynchronous rectification and is optimized for low duty cycle conversion. When high integration is needed due to space constraints, use ST1S. A wide variety of packages, for instance, QFN 3x3 up to HTSSOP are available. Go on www.st.com to design your auxiliary power supply. Linear regulators can be selected by surfing through data sheets or using the app for Android and iPhone. By entering some main parameters, it helps you choosing the right linear regulator. If system efficiency is important, 
use ultra low dropout series LD39XXX series. To, prote to protect against reverse current, use LDL112. If you need an economic and simple approach, use LDK or LDL series. This is an overview about our portfolio for offline converters for bug and flyback topologies. They can be selected for auxiliary power supply designs in the online tool eDesign Suite on www.st.com. There are three families named Viper, Altair and HVLED. If your application needs very low standby consumption, namely zero standby power mode, use Viper 0P. If you need high peak output power, use Viper Plus X8 series. Let's move to the gate drivers. ST offers a big portfolio of gate drivers, which I will show you now. On the next slides, we will focus on 600 volt half bridge gate drivers and our new galvanic isolated gate drivers. Here we see the two families of 600 volt half bridge drivers L638 and L639. They feature up to 600 volt and have 3.3 to 5 volt input voltage. All devices integrate the bootstrap diode for supplying the charge pump on the high side switches. ST offers a big portfolio with a fine granulatable set of functions. Applications, home appliances, factory automation, industrial drives and much more. Starting from the top left with the gate driver L6384E, which allows easy driving with only one input. Furthermore, it features interlocking, programmable dead time and a input for shutdown. Going to the right top with L6390, which features a full set of functions such as separated high and low input, shutdown input, integrated op amp and comparator for overcurrent protection and the smart shutdown function, which lets disable the power stage without routing the decision through the microcontroller. On this slide, we see the new L649X high current gate driver series. The main focus for these gate drivers is the increased driving capability, up to 4 amperes. Various functions are available aligned to the gate drivers on the previous slide. ST has developed a manufacturing process to integrate an on-chip transformer consisting of metal spirals and silicon oxide insulation. The on-chip transformers are used for transmitting switching information between input chip and output chip, which are galvanically isolated. This gives great immunity against noise and high robustness. Our new STGAP2 is currently in development, but samples are already available. The products will be available soon. It features up to 1.7 kV when having a up to 4 amperes sink and source capability and a well set, a well focused set of functions for motor control applications. Remarkable CMT immunity of at least 100 volt per nanosecond. The STGAP 2S is a gate driver for a single switch. It features isolation up to 1.7 kV and is in two configurations available, either single output with milliclamp functionality or separated sink and source outputs for optimized turn off and turn on. The devices are suitable for negative gate driving to increase robustness against accidental turn on during commutation. Minimum of 100 volt per nanosecond CMTI available here too. STGAP2D. This is our half bridge driver, which features an isolation voltage of up to 1.7 kV. It features as well 4 ampere sink and source capability and easy driving thanks to single input pin and the output signal in phase with the input. The programmable dead time and the ability for negative gate drive are for increased commutation robustness. And as usual for our STGAP2, 
the 100 volt per nanosecond CMTI. Let's move to signal conditioning. ST offers specialized signal conditioning for current sensing using shunts. For economic designs, ST offers standard op amps such as LM290X. The losses for current sensing can be optimized by using high precision op amps such as TV, TSV7 or TSX7. And if power losses are key, then use our ultra precision op amp TSZ18 series, which allows to reduce the losses by 99% versus the standard op amp. Let's move on to thyristors triarchs for inverse current limitation. Here we see an overview about our extended and versatile portfolio of SCRs and triarchs. For inverse current limitation on motor control applications, we recommend our SCRs from the TN series with its high current range of up to 80 amperes and a high temperature range of up to 150 degrees Celsius. In other cases, for inrush current limitation, the use of triarchs can be suitable too. ST offers a wide portfolio of triarchs up to 40 amperes with a small trigger current of less than 3 milliamperes. And that's the end of this presentation. I thank you for your attention and wish you a nice day.